hello guys welcome to my channel in this video i will show you how to resolve the issue black screen of death with the cursor and any other issue related to windows black screen windows 10 11 8 you can follow these steps and your issue will be fixed so let's start without wasting our time press ctrl alt delete together like this you can see now you need to click on this option task manager option okay if you see any option like this click on more details and now go to file option click on run new task and type here explorer.exe as shown on the screen dot exe and tick this box create this task with the administrative privilege what this will do this will refresh all the file explorer settings so you can see and your issue should be fixed so this will refresh all the settings and you are back to normal if not then we can continue with the other method okay now if your screen is still remain black you need to look for this option which says windows explorer click on this option and click on restart option okay now again this will do the same thing this will reset all the settings so check if your issue is solved or not if not then close this option again press ctrl or delete button like this and hold the shift key hold shift key click on restart and hold the shift key until you see the automatic repair screen okay hold the shift key keep holding it now you will see options like this you need to click on this option which says troubleshoot click on this option click on advanced options okay now you will see six options we need to click on this option which says startup setting click on this option now we need to restart our system you will see the option to restart then click on restart option now you need to press f4 on your keyboard f4 or 4 you can directly press i am going to press f4 like this and it's going to in a safe mode and we will apply some changes if your system is booting in a boot mode it means it is good sign for you if you are unable to boot in a safe mode so you need to enter your credentials i have not made any credentials so it is directly loading now we can do couple of things in a safe mode okay in the safe mode go to control panel first cancel this option control panel okay like this and click on view by and choose the large icons okay then click on programs and feature and if you have installed the recently program here you can uninstall those like click on this option install date and select the sometime the corruption inside your program new software can cause this use as well i click on uninstall and uninstall it okay if not if you haven't installed any program recently you can choose this option views install update now you will see the sometime the corrupted windows update can cause this issue most of the time this is the main issue of black screen so click on again click on the install on 
and then click on install on and choose the latest one here you can see here the latest windows update update for microsoft windows and click on uninstall it uninstall it and 40 to 50 percent your issue will be fixed with the uninstalling latest update after that we will perform the driver one so i am cancelling this process you need to wait and uninstall it after that look for other another option which is recently updated and uninstall that option as well you can see here like so and wait so i am cancelling the process from here okay you need to wait for the process to complete and after that restart your system okay restart your system in a normal mode and you will see your issue will be fixed if uh, still not fixed i will show you the other method so let's restart and do not connect to the internet in case if you have uninstalled the program your system might automatically update your system so do not and then hold the shift key again same hold shift key click on restart click on restart keep holding shift key click on troubleshoot then click on advanced options again click on startup setting this time we will uninstall the faulty driver okay click on restart in a safe mode and again you can see the option enable safe mode okay you can also press f4 with networking but uh, i'm pressing f4 in a enable safe mode press f4 and this time we will uninstall the faulty driver and it will automatically reinstall it this time go to device manager simply search device okay you will see the device manager click on device manager option and look for display adapter this option and uninstall the driver whatever driver you have right click on it and uninstall it uninstall it do not check the delete one uninstall it and the driver has been uninstalled close out from here and simply restart your system click on restart and restart your system in a normal mode after that your system will find automatically the suitable driver for your windows after uninstalling the driver your windows will find most of the time microsoft basic driver go to manufacturer website and install the latest display driver on your windows so this is how you can troubleshoot this issue so hope your issue is fixed now if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching see you in next video